Put down the triple double brownie mint supreme and step away from the spoon. Yes, I know it looks really, really delicious, but think about what you're risking. And I know it's hard, trust me. I used to be like 200 pounds, but you have to come to the realization that the cinnamon bun does not have a gun to your head. Even in all the years that it was hefty, there was never a bowl of Cocoa Puffs that said if I didn't eat it, I was gonna kill my entire family. And what is it about s'more Pop-Tarts that makes us so crazy? Or at least me so crazy. I mean, is it the sugar? Is it the fats? Well, actually, it's both. Because food science will show that the more multi-sensory a food, the more reinforcing. And the more our hardwiring begins to tell us that we have to have this food. Many people have the misconception that the only cue is the sight or the smell of the food. But in reality, it could be a place, it could be a group of friends, it could be a time of day. And every time you appease this urge by consuming the desired food, you're strengthening the neural circuitry in your brain so that the cycle continues. And surely the food industry is aware that they're overstimulating the population. But in their opinion, they're giving you exactly what you want. And you're fooling yourself if you think that they're gonna compromise profits for your sake. But there is good news. Once you're aware that your brain is being hijacked, you have the ability to fight back. You can be a food warrior, and anytime you meet a plate, you have decisions to make. So take responsibility for your actions, because in the end, it's always a choice. So what will you choose?